Are you ready to take your English to the next level? Are you ready to speak more fluently and like a native speaker? Well, in today's lesson, we are going to learn one phrase that will help you speak more fluently, more advanced, and more like a native speaker. Let's go. In today's lesson, we are going to study a phrase that will make you sound more fluent. It will make your sentences sound more like a native speaker. Today, we are going to focus on even if, even if. Now, even if means whether or not, whether or not. This means that I will do something and I don't care about the condition. It means that something will happen and it doesn't matter about the condition. For example, it's raining outside. It's raining outside. So the condition is it's raining. But I don't care about the rain. I don't care. I will go to the beach. I will go to the beach. I don't care that it is raining. So in this situation, we will use even if. When I make an even if sentence, there are two parts to the sentence. One is there is a condition. For example, it rains, it rains. The other one is the action, the action. The action is something that will happen. Okay, so just to review, we have a condition, rain. And the action means something I will do. I will go to the beach. So there are two parts to any sentence using even if. When we make a sentence, even if can come at the very beginning of the sentence, or we can put it in the middle of the sentence. So there are two patterns to making an even if sentence. So, let's look at the two patterns now. Okay, so first, first pattern, we have the action, the action, something will happen. Next, even if, and then after that is the condition, the condition. That is the first pattern. In this first pattern, even if is in the middle. Even if is in the middle. So we have the action, even if, and then the condition. In the second pattern, we have even if at the beginning. So we have even if plus the condition. Then we put a comma. And then it's the action. So even if, condition, and then we have the action. In today's lesson, we will be using will for every action. So the condition, I want you to use present tense, the simple present tense. And the action, we will use will plus verb. So let's look at the patterns again. First pattern, we will have the action. So it will be will plus a verb. Then even if. Then next, we are going to have the action. So it's the present tense verb. And in the second pattern, we begin with even if. So our condition will be a present tense verb. 
then we have that a comma. Then after the comma, we will have the action, which is will plus the verb. So let's look at my first example. We talked about the beach and we talked about the rain. All right, so in this situation, the condition is rain. And the action is beach, go to the beach. So if we use the first pattern, the very first pattern, it is, I will go to the beach even if it rains. I will go to the beach even if it rains. Now, if we use the second pattern, the sentence is, even if it rains, I will go to the beach. Even if it rains, I will go to the beach. Okay, so does that make sense? Do you understand how to make a sentence with even if? I gave you two patterns, but you can choose whichever pattern you like. It's your choice. I choose both. So I like to uh, have variety when I speak, but for you, you choose whichever one you like. So let's practice. Let's practice making a sentence using even if. So first practice sentence, let's do it together. And the second and third one, I want you to try. All right. Practice sentence number one. The action. The action is... I will go to the gym. I will go to the gym. And the condition is I am tired. I am tired. Now remember, an even if sentence means I don't care about the condition. I will do the action. So I don't care if I am tired. I don't care that I am tired. I will do the action. Okay, so we have two different parts. The action, I will go to the gym. The condition, I am tired. If we put it together, my sentence is, I will go to the gym even if I am tired. I will go to the gym even if I'm tired. Or if we choose the other pattern, the second pattern, the sentence is, even if I'm tired, I will go to the gym. Even if I am tired, I will go to the gym. Okay, practice number two. This time, I want you to try. I will give you the action and I will give you the condition. I would like you to make two sentences. Please make the sentence using the first pattern, even if is in the middle. And second, please make a sentence where even if is at the beginning. Okay, the action. I will go to work. The condition, I am sick. All right, the action, I will go to work. The condition, I am sick. Please join those two parts using even if. Okay, so remember, we have to make two sentences. My sentences are, I will go to work even if I am sick. Or, even if I am sick, I will go to work. Okay, so did you get that correct? 
If not, just rewatch and listen to my answer and write it down. Okay, practice number three. Again, I want you to try it. I will give you the action and the condition. So in this one, the action is, I will not buy the shirt. Okay, so remember, we can make will not, we can make it shorter, and we can say won't. So I won't buy the shirt. And the condition is, the shirt is on sale. The shirt is on sale. What is your answer? Remember, please make two sentences. One where even if is in the middle and one where even if is at the beginning. All right, what's your answer? Okay, my answer for this situation is, I won't buy the shirt even if it is on sale. I won't buy the shirt even if it is on sale. And my second answer is, even if the shirt is on sale, I won't buy it. Even if the shirt is on sale, I won't buy it. Now, you might notice here in my sentence, I don't say the shirt two times. I only say the shirt at the beginning of the sentence. And the second time, I change the word to it. So the shirt becomes it. So again, my two sentences were, I won't buy the shirt even if it's on sale. Or even if the shirt's on sale, I won't buy it. Okay, so do you understand that? Do you understand how to use it in the sentence? Now, if you say the shirt two times, that's okay. But native speakers, we will always change the second time to it or they or some pronoun. Okay, so how did you do? Did you get all three of those right? If not, don't worry, you can always rewatch this part of the video. But don't worry, we will have more opportunity, more chances to make sentences. So keep watching, watch until the end, and practice making these sentences as many times as you can. The more you practice speaking English, the better your English will become. And do me a favor. If you like this video so far, if you think this video is helping you, this English lesson is helping you, please subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and hit the notification bell. Hitting the notification bell will tell you when I post my next lesson. I'm trying to post as many lessons as I can, so that will tell you, oh, Shelly has posted another lesson. I can go and study more English. So make sure you hit that notification bell as well. And if you know anybody who's studying, share this lesson with them as well. Okay, so that brings us to the active part of the lesson. This is your chance to make even if sentences. But I will make this part a little bit more difficult. In this situation, I will give you the condition, I'll give you the action, but I will not make the sentence for you. I'll give you maybe one word and I want you to use that information and make two sentences. Then 
join them together using even if. Also, I would like you to make two sentences. One where even if is in the middle and another one where even if is at the beginning. All right, so make sure you make two sentences. Use the information on the screen. Okay, let's try. Situation number one. The condition is rain. The action is jogging. Please use this information and remember, make two sentences. Okay, let's try. Okay, my answer for this is, I will go jogging even if it rains. And my second sentence is, even if it rains, I will go jogging. Okay, so if you had a different answer, don't worry. There could be many, many different answers. The best way to know if your answer is correct is leave it in the comment section. If you want me to check, you have to write it down there and I will definitely check your answers. Now, if you really want to improve your English, I really recommend leaving your answers down below. Situation number two. The condition is a lot of traffic. And the action, I'm going to give you the word car, car. So please use this information. You have to make two sentences, join them together using even if. All right, make sure that you use the correct verbs for this information. All right, what's your answer? All right, my answer for this situation is, I will drive my car even if there is a lot of traffic. Okay, one more time. I will drive my car even if there is a lot of traffic. Or we can switch it. Even if there is a lot of traffic, I will drive my car. Now, my sentence was a little bit tricky, a little bit difficult. Now, remember, if you have a different answer, leave it down below. Situation number three. The condition is the lottery, lottery. All right, that's your condition, that's your information, the lottery. And your action the word is job, but I want you to use a negative sentence. So please use not, not. All right. So one more time. The condition is the lottery. The lottery is where you try to choose all of the numbers correctly. And if you are correct, you get a lot of money. That's lottery. And the action is job but please use not. What's your answer? Okay, my answer for this situation is, I won't quit my job, even if I win the lottery. I won't quit my job, even if I win the lottery. Or, even if I win the lottery, I won't quit my job. Even if I win the lottery, I won't quit my job. Now, in this situation, I won't quit my job means I will stay at my job. I will continue to work. All right, if you have a different answer, leave it down below. 
Situation number four. The condition is full. Full. And the action, the word, the information is dessert. Dessert. What is your answer? Make sure you make two sentences. Okay, my answer for this situation is I will eat dessert even if I am full. Or even if I'm full, I will eat dessert. Is that like you? You know, sometimes that's me. Even if I'm full, I will eat dessert because I love dessert. How about you? Do you guys like dessert? Do you eat dessert even if you are full? If so, let me know what your favorite dessert is in the comment section. My favorite dessert is an apple pie with caramel ice cream on top. All right, let me know what yours is. And situation number five, the last situation. The condition is late, late. And the action, your information is coffee, coffee. What is your sentence? Okay, my answer for this situation is I will drink coffee even if it is late. I will drink coffee even if it is late. Or even if it's late, I will drink coffee. Even if it's late, I will drink coffee. Now, I could have made another sentence instead of drink, I could have used the verb have. It is the same meaning. So for example, I will have coffee even if it's late. Or even if it's late, I will have coffee. All right, so in this situation, have equals drink. Okay, so how did you do? Did you get all five of those correct? Now, your answers could be different. They're probably different. So if you have different answers, leave them down below so I can check. Also, if you think this lesson was useful, please subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and hit the notification bell. Even if is such a great phrase, to make you sound more fluent. You sound more like a native speaker, so please try it when you are speaking English. All right, so until the next lesson, see ya. Thank you very much for watching today's lesson. Today we practiced the phrase, even if. This is a phrase that will help you speak more fluently and like a native speaker. If you like this lesson, please subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and hit the notification bell. And don't forget to share the video with anyone you know. All right, until the next lesson, see ya.